Hello there and welcome to Linux Chess 2 and uh, this video guide is about 10 things you must do after installing any version of Ubuntu. So Ubuntu releases a new version every 6 months and uh, it get hype in its initial release and uh, a lot of videos or articles related to 10 things to do, 15 things to do, 20, 30, 40, 15 things to do starts to pop up and they are simply wasting your time because there is nothing new that you can do only these 10 things if you know about them then you just have to do these 10 things and nothing more so let's see what are these things and how you can do them so the very first thing is to update upgrade and clean so if you are fresh installing ubuntu or upgrading it then you must have to update and upgrade your system and after that you have to clean it up for that you can use these commands and uh, they will do just that. Second thing that you have to do is to install restricted extra codecs and these codecs are necessary because they allow you to play any kind of video file or audio file in your system and by default uh, these codecs may be missing in your system so you can install these codecs easily using this guide. So you have updated your system, you have installed the codecs now you need to do some customization and for the customization the one tool that aces and that tool is a tweak tool so you have to install tweak tool in your system so that you can do all kind of customization with your gnome so gnome tool is really must fourth one is adding the extension support in your distribution so by default i don't know why ubuntu do not provide extension support in the gnome even it uses gnome desktop environment but it does not set it up for the extensions out of the box so for that you can check out the guide and add the extension support so that you can extend the desktop environment with thousands of extensions that are available at the store next you have to bought few guides that i have uploaded on this channel and these guides are related to the extensions that you must have in your ubuntu And uh, next is these guides and these guides are related to the themes I can pack scrub themes wallpaper and uh, cursors these videos will show you how you can customize your system so that it can look unique and amazing now the seventh one is installing must-have tools so these tools are very necessary if you are a regular Linux user so tools like uh, your tweak tool so we have already installed the tweak tool another one is a uh, menu editor so sometimes we have to create the desktop entries menu editor is there we have to install a zthumb so zthumb is for web files con key manager for our visits gparted for any storage modification pulse effect for audio effect and uh, there are a bunch of few tools that you can find over here and uh, you can install these tools to enhance the usability of your Linux distribution. Now after installing this tool, you can install GNOME Software Center. Now you may ask why GNOME Software Center because nowadays Ubuntu comes with the Ubuntu Software Center and it prioritizes the Snap applications over the native ones. So you will definitely want to install a GNOME Software Center, unbiased software center which supports all kind of applications and uh, even extensions. Many cases the Ubuntu Software Center is buggy and does not work properly. The second last is adding the support for Flatpak. So Ubuntu already comes with the Snap support but uh, I don't know why they do not include the Flatpak support and uh, I can understand why because they have a counterpart a Snap so they prioritize uh, that and do not give priority to Flatpak. But you can always install Flatpak easily and here is the guide, watch it and do the job. And lastly we have few things for example you have to schedule your night mode because ubuntu comes with a night mode nowadays and the night mode is a really a good tool because if you use your desktop your computer for a long period of time the blue light really start to hurt your eyes and for that night mode is just amazing schedule it and start using it then you also have to manage your auto start and a few little stuff so just do that with the stasser tool very popular 
and uh, finally you have to install your favorite applications so of course you need applications to use your computer for different kind of things maybe you are a student so you need applications to do your school related work or you work in a company you have to do some work your completed work and you have to install tools for that so i have a pretty comprehensive guide for that and uh, it's a old guide but it's a gold one and it also gives you some kind of idea like what kind of applications available in linux ecosystem and what are the alternative to the popular applications so this brings us to the end of this video so these only things you have to do in your distribution i'm targeting ubuntu but they are not specific to ubuntu you can do these things in other distributions as well but ubuntu is very popular so people usually search for ubuntu and not for other distributions not that much so that's it hit the like subscribe to the channel if you haven't and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below as i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux